Hi everyone, it's Amy Kathleen. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, on this St. Patrick's Day weekend, I have a little bit of green represented with this Dollar Tree uh, wingy necklace. And um, these earrings were given to me. They're handmade by a friend, a co-teacher I used to have. Her name was Tiffany. Um, she used to have an Etsy store, but I don't think she has them, uh, has that up anymore. But I love them. So that's my little bit of green and my camo star because I love camo. Even though my sister does not like camo, I like camo. Okay, so with this video, I was going to do a Friday's Friday favorites uh, last night, Friday, but I didn't get around to it. My husband and I were watching uh, the new season of Arrested Development. Does anybody, does anybody watch Arrested Development. I love Arrested Development. So we were, you know, catching up a little bit on that. The original series is much, much better, but the other one's pretty good. We had a few good laughs. Um, so no Friday favorites, but so I decided to do um, like a Saturday Superstars for the week. And I have one, ew. So Saturday stu Superstars and a new. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started hair all over me. Um, the first thing, and I use, I love Tarte. I love the brand Tarte. And I use these quite often. Um, it's the Tarte eye gels. It's called Pack Your Bags, which is so cute. Um, I, all right, this, you know, has been in my um, refrigerator. I like to refrigerate them. It feels really good on it. So, the I bags are gone now that came in here not mine and uh i got like three uses out of them um which might have been a little too much but then there's still some like gel left in this bag so i think i could get another you know use of of them from just the gel so i mean super deal i'm gonna try to uh, remember to link everything down below. Let me know if y'all like do the same. Get multiple uses out of things and how long is too long because sometimes, I mean, I want my best deal. So, you know, three uses so far. I really love it. It's cooling and, you know, does everything an eye gel does. Um, I'm kind of big into eye creams, eye gels and stuff because, oh, you know, I need help in that. Um, area area so i haven't tried these yet but speaking of ideals i got these uh gosh what was this oh in my fab fit fun that i got from um that i'll be talking a little bit uh about later from i want it from manic makeup mama that came today so these are black um eye gels and um they're charcoal i think they have charcoal in it so i'm gonna be trying these out too and see how they compare more ideals the better um, also, so I rediscovered some old makeup, not old makeup, but, uh, rediscovered some makeup that was in another makeup bag. So it's not old, but anyways, found stuff that I've forgotten was in a purse. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and I really, I'm all about, you know, ease, get out the door in the mornings and this, this is easy stuff. Um, I'm going to put my glasses on. And I've been doing this a lot this week. Uh, these are from Essence, which is so inexpensive. I love Essence. I get it at Ulta. Ooh, this one's got stuff on it. Um, it's a two-in... I'll show you the one that doesn't have stuff on it. It's a two-in-one shadow and eyeliner, and they're waterproof. This one is called... Oh, I'm going to be try, try to be so quick. This is called Rosy Happiness. It's my favorite one. And this one is She's Got the Mouth Move. So these are super easy to just swipe on and go. Um, and I've liked this sweet little alternative rock um, by the bomb that I got in an Ipsy. It's called Take It For Granted. It's like a, I think I've swatched this before. My swatches are awful. Um, it's like a taupey, no one can see that, Amy. Taupey violet, real neutral right up my alley put these on put a little bit of that on you're set 
And this, so I love mascara. Mascara, concealer, and like lipstick are my favorite, favorite items. Like the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is the best stuff. And I mean, it's inexpensive. It's like eight or nine dollars, I think. But I always try to get it when I can see it on sale at Walgreens or have a L'Oreal coupon or something. I rediscovered this because I was trying some other mascaras out. Um, I forgot how much I love this. The wand is like this. It's one of those hard ones, but I like these kind of wands because, um, like I have little bitty lashes, you can't really see. And this really like separates and lengthens. That's what I want in a mascara. I like the separate lengthening. I like it really, really dark, like black. And um, so I forgot about these, this guy and I, I love him. I love him, this, this is good stuff. And then, so my favorite neutral, or my lips but better, um, and I think I've talked about this before, lipstick is by Rimmel, Rimmel, and it's vintage pink. <laughs> and I was telling, I think I made a video, I was telling how sad I was that, you know, they don't make this anymore, or I couldn't find it, I think it was discontinued. Um, my sister sent me a link, um, and they have it on Amazon for, I was like 12 bucks, which I will totally, you know, I'm going to pay the $12 because I love this color so much. I have it on my lips right now. Um, I love this. So I was excited. That's in my Amazon cart. I'm going to be getting some more Rimmel Vintage Pink. And I've been using it with this, oh, I can't remember what it's called. I love this lip liner. It's real neutral. I'm sure everybody knows about this. It's by Rimmel Exaggerate. And it is color 070 enchantment I like it. it's just you know little bitty pretty precise oh that was a terrible swatch but there it is I like smushed it to pieces um, so that with a little bit of this awesome okay and I've also been liking I think I got this in it an Ipsy this has been beside me on the couch I have a little basket where I keep all my stuff when we're watching TV lotion and lip balm and you know anything I might need glasses I have glasses all over the house friends um Hannah Lee Hannah Lay, this lip treatment in um what was the color something peachy pink yeah peach pink this is nice I really like this so I only wish that's what it looks like it had more of a um like slant to the tip so you can you know put it directly on your lips because you have to squeeze it out and then put it on your finger but that's no big deal I've loved this little sample and I might look into purchasing this um then I have okay so this is brand new to me but I think it's already going to be a favorite and it's expensive ah um so I got the Sunday Riley I got some more Sunday Riley items that I found some deals on I'll link that video below Good Jeans little sample and the CEO, um, this is the moisture, moisturizer. Yeah, repair moisturizer. I love these two together. I've only been using it for like, I don't know, a couple days, but I love this stuff. And I have a feeling that this will be a new favorite. Um, I will probably get on this bandwagon. Well, okay, so this might be I don't know too much information or something or gross but I don't care um, so I wear a lot of men's deodorant because it just works better for me and who doesn't want to smell like a good-looking man or smell like a nice smelling man um, I got this it's hard to see the stickers on it it's by Old Spice it's volcano uh, it's in it and it's called it's got charcoal in it um, it says it's new, but I got it on sale at Walgreens for $3, which is still, I think, expensive. But these last a while. I like the Old Spice scents. Um, I like the Fiji scent that's by them. And this smells good. It smells, it doesn't smell like charcoal or a volcano. I don't know. Here I am smelling deodorant on the internet. <laughs> this smells like, um, like this and a little bit of like sea going through lava rocks I don't know if you've ever been to Hawaii it kind of smells like that 
Okay, so men's deodorant is out of the way. These, I, so I wash my hands a lot because I'm a preschool teacher and got some OCD, so I wash my hands, and especially when I'm cleaning. Um, and these I found at uh, Dollar Tree, and they're phenomenal deals. I've um, had these like all winter, but I've been washing my hands a lot this week because I was cleaning. That's my eyes maker, by the way, if you hear those noise, that noise. So this was at Dollar Tree. This is like name brand stuff. It's Dermasil, dry skin treatment, original lotion. I think I saw that this, it's got all kinds of good stuff in there. Um, vanilla fruit extract and damask rose extract and all kinds of, I mean, not, not just filler stuff. It's, it's good stuff. I thought I saw that it was from Maine somewhere like in Scandinavia or something, but anyways, it, oh, it has dimethicone 1%, which is a skin protectant. This works really, really well. I have some of these at, in my class too, that we use. And it smells good. It's real light. So this Dollar Tree, I got it earlier this winter. But if you ever see this, get that. And then this I got this winter too, also at Dollar Tree. Is a sepial, a sepial? I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, Rapid Repair Hand Cream. This is an overnight. You use this at night. It is amazing. I can't get it open. What else is new? I mean, it smells okay. You know, nothing. I think this one smells better, but this, oh my goodness, good stuff. I keep it by my, my bedside table. Okay, so this, the Mrs. Myers. I like Mrs. Myers, but I found a lilac scent at Target the other day, and I had no idea that there was lilac, or I had never seen it. I don't know how I missed that, because lilac is one of my, excuse me, very favorite scents. It smells Oh, it smells amazing. It smells like springtime. So I've been using this in my house and my house smells good. Um, another thing, let's see. So like I was mentioning, I got, I received my FabFitFun starter box that I won from Manic Makeup Mama. That's fun to say. So that was a big favorite, but I know already that this is a favorite, and I'm sure everybody else knows about this, and I didn't know. I had heard, heard and seen about them, but now I know why. They're amazing. It's the sponge gels. Oh my goodness. Well, no one can see it. There we go. This smells so good. Oh, it smells so good, and it gets rid of like, so, this is like the beach, some beach scent. It gets rid of dead skin my skin feels so soft after I use it I mean this is gonna be my next like go to I'm I want more scents I'm gonna give these as gifts I am so excited about these sponge gels I wish I would have thought of this idea and I'd be a millionaire okay um so my husband and I are trying to get back on keto and um, it's an easy diet once you get past the um, the initial, you know, no carbs and blah, 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 blah. We've done it before and I lost like 30 something pounds. Um, and maybe I'll talk about some keto tips and tricks I've learned along the way. We are starting it again. And um, I have a huge sugar tooth. I am so addicted to sugar. You have no idea. I love sweet things. I'd, I'd always pick candy over chips or something. So I got some things that could tide me over. So we do the Atkins bars and everything. That's not, that's not that exciting to me. And granted this week we did not do as great as we wanted on keto, but that is okay. Next week is a new week. We have these sugar-free chicka sticks, which I love. And it tastes like, really like the real chicka sticks. Does anybody like these? You can get them at Cracker Barrel. And like these are one of my, it's like the inside of a Butterfinger. Um, sugar-free and lower in carbs. Okay, so one of these is just a couple of carbs because you can have four for nine carbs. The keto math, once you get, once you figure out how to do it, you can do it. Um, these are so good. One little something you'll love. But you do not, do not want to eat too many of them, of course, because anything that has, these have Splenda in them, by the way, which is okay. Um, 
you don't want to have a lot of these because they have that warning that excess uh, consumption may have a laxative effect. So be warned. These, I was so happy. You can get these at Amazon or um, like there's a Keto Connect that sells keto snacks and foods. So now that I've talked so long about these, check a stick, this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see if we can get these Quest Bars. Oh my goodness. I love these. I love these. I love these. I love these. So they have like um, a lot of protein in them and then maybe like five carbs each. Not many carbs at all. I can't figure out the keto math right now. But um, so they're good for a keto diet. They're actually recommended on um, uh, some keto. I'm on Reddit. I don't know if anybody knows what Reddit is, but there's a sub subreddit and I found out about these. So they have all kinds of different flavors. Of course, the blueberry muffin is good, but this maple waffle is the best thing I've had. I mean, I would eat it even if I wasn't on a diet. This is delicious. It smell. It tastes like a bit of honey. Do you know this? Do y'all know that um, that candy bit of honey? And it has like I don't love the consistency at first, but then you know once you, you realize how tasty it is, you're on board with this. Um, it has like syrupy kind of stuff in it and little crunchy pieces. Oh, it's delicious. It's delicious. And then more food because obviously I like food and sweets. So this is Tate's Bakes. I don't know if anyone's had these um, before. They are lower in, you know, sugar and carbs than, um, than other cookies. So one little treat, you know, one little cookie is all right. And I'm someone who needs that. Maybe it you know, delays my progress on the diet, but I, I have to have something like this. So I've never, I get the chocolate chip, which I like, and I've had like the Snickerdoodle is really good. That's harder to find. There's one flavor I don't like that much, but this was a new flavor, butter crunch cookies. These are so good. I love a crunchy, crunchy, I like any kind of toffee, you know, those kind of cookies. Um, this is so good. So go out and find some Tate's Bakes Butter Crunch Cookies. Ugh, it's like toffee inside or something. I don't know, but it was delicious. Okay, and then I wanted to mention um, I'll probably be sleeping in this tonight, which is exciting to get ready for, you know, the leprechaun or whatever for St. Patrick's Day. Um, this is my find from Goodwill a little while ago. It's kind of beat up, but it was like nothing. It's a Lucky Charm shirt, so I'll be rocking that this evening. Um, and my ew, finally into my ew. So, so I, this is St. Ives, it says glare, St. Ives cleansing stick, apricot and manuka honey. So I was like, so excited to try this, and it's been a couple months. Um, First of all, I don't really like the way it smells. I thought it would smell like honey and apricots. It it doesn't really. I mean, it smells a little bit fruity, but anyways. Um, and it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it gets so gross and goopy, and there's not a lot of scrubby beads in it. Maybe I was thinking it would be scrubby beads. I don't know. It's moisturizing, but I can't stand. But, ew, it's like... Vaseline or something. I mean, it just decomposes, if that's the right word, um, real quickly. And I was not impressed. I'm actually, I tried and tried and tried, and I would use this and use this just because I spent money on it. And I am think I'm throwing it away. So, sorry if anybody likes this. Oh, it's all over my hands. It didn't work for me. Um, and the last thing, I just wanted to, you know, wish everyone a Happy, happy spring. Um, it's almost springtime. Tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. I love St. Patrick's Day. Um, we have Irish in our background and our heritage. And I wanted to show, look at the flowers that were in my yard today. Can you guys see? There's a terrible glare. There's little daffodils and um, hyacinth. That This makes me happy. So, 
excited that spring's on its way. Hope everyone has a great St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for watching my Saturday superstars. And um, let me know what you enjoyed this week. What was a superstar for you? And um, what you're planning on doing for St. Patrick's Day. And I guess that's it. I'm going to stop my rambling. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this, just give it a thumbs up. And think about subscribing. Everyone, have a great, great day. Thanks so much. Bye.